Welcome back. Oh. Oh, to St. Louis? St. Louis. Hey! Back off. No, don't stop. Had to do it. Little jacket right there. Flowers on the jacket right It's so late, we're still doing this. Batter up. So what are we going to do? From St. Louis and the Boston Celtics, Jason Tatum in studio tonight, everybody. Are you from St. Louis? Of course. I never knew that. Why do you think they played the St. Louis music? I thought you were talking about okay, the jacket right there. there. Uh, and I want to say this is good for Jason Tatum because we found a weird stat. When you guys play on TNT, it doesn't go as well as the rest of the season. Doesn't make sense to me. Couldn't believe it. But check it. Look at this. You guys are 53 and 9 not on TNT, 4 and 6 on TNT. What's going on, Jason? Bad luck, Barkley. <laughs> he probably got a lot to do with it. Charles Barkley's the issue. Bad luck, guys. That energy. Uh, I know you guys go back a long time your text friends and all that stuff. How long have you known that he was going to be this bad of a dude in a first team all NBA? I heard about when he was in high school and the thing that I heard was, was he was getting himself up for workouts early in the morning, like the discipline at that age and he was focused. So I kept an eye on him ever since then, checking in with D miles and checking in with Q rich and all them guys. So back then I knew he'd be special. But my question is, did you think it would happen so fast? All the success when you first came in the league? Uh, to be honest, no, right? It's, it's crazy to think about, like, you dream of being in this situation, being in this moment. Uh, but it, it still doesn't feel real to me, like, mm -hmm. being up here with you guys, playing on national TV, having my own signature shoe, playing for the Celtics. Uh, it really is a dream come true, and it's something that I don't get used to um, every day, and I'm just really grateful for it. So with 13 games left, you've already clinched. How do you keep your guys focused on the mission? You know, we were almost there last year, you didn't get this. How do you keep, keep your guys focused? Because y'all been playing excellent basketball all year, but right. with so many games left, we're already clinching. How do you say focus on the mission? Uh, I think just experience is the best teacher, right? The last few years, being that close and not getting over the hump, uh, obviously was extremely tough. And I think everybody on our team is in a perfect place in their career, right? We've all accomplished individual things, everybody's gotten paid. And the last thing is, you know, for most of us, except for Drew Holiday, we all trying to get over that hump. And I think we have the right group, the right mindset to do those things. Obviously, we still have to do it, stay healthy, and continue to play the right way. Uh, but our mindset is, is where it needs to be. Okay, first of all, I was born in St. Louis. Did you what? know that? I you did didn't know that. that. Yeah, I was born in St. Louis. Um, second of all, can't get up your line, Shaq. <laughs> no, I like check the check, 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 <laughs> Go back here, quite Man, don't, don't, let him, don't let him get you off your screen. But, it is okay. confirmed. So we, talk about, we talk about like Seattle, right? People from Seattle. We talk about players from New York. We talk about players from Chicago. Like, what is it about players from St. Louis? Because we've seen your relationship with Bradley Beal, mm -hmm. and um, like, what is it that you think St. Louis players have that the rest of the world is on notice for? Yeah, I think uh, you already got myself, Bradley Beal, Larry Hughes, David Lee. Hughes. Uh, Patrick McCall, Ben McLemore, Anthony Bonner played for the Knicks back in the day. Mm -hmm. uh, St. Louis is just a small place, small city. Not a lot of people make it out. So I think being from St. Louis, we carry a sense of pride about where we're from and we have the edge on our shoulder. Um, and we, you know, we love to let people know where we're from and whether it's with our voice or how we play. Uh, I have a few Jamal related stuff. There was a game earlier this year you dropped 50 on Charlotte and you said Jamal had texted you and said you got to go and get 50. Last year. Was that last year? Last year. Have there been multiple <laughs> times in your career where Jamal has reached out and been like you need to go for something right now? It was funny because earlier that season we played the Heat and I had 49 and we was up by like 15 or so and I remember it was like a minute and a half left and I just kind of like I waved them off. I was like, yo, somebody else shoot it. I didn't want to. We were calling the game. Yeah, right? yeah I didn't like want to run game. up trying run to get up. 50 when we was up 20. And I remember he texted me right after that. I was like, yo, run up. you know, they run only going to remember how many 50 point games, not if how it was a blowout. How many 49 point games. Yeah. Right. So literally like two weeks later, I had 51 against the Hornets. I got a question, Paul. Any this. other times, though, like all star games or anything like that? All star game last year when I got MVP. And he told me to get it again this year, but. Uh, maybe next year. Last year. Go ahead, Shaq. I got a question. When did that start? 
Like, for example, if I'm up 20 and there's five seconds left and I score and now we're up 20, like, when did that start to, like, the other teams, oh, the other don't, teams like don't like it? Yeah, like, when did that start? Like, they had all game to stop it. I don't know. Like, I mean, like, I don't remember us doing that back in my day. Yeah. Like, getting upset. Yeah. I don't and, know. What, and the you one know what I'm thing, saying, Candace? Yeah, I know what you mean. What do you think? I mean. Because it, it does upset a lot of people these days. No, it does. And looking back on it, <laughs> I should have got the ball and tried to score again. <laughs> I'm telling you. And, sure. For me, like, I always look at the younger players coming up, men, women, whatever, who are special and who love the game. Every time I see him, he has somebody, another, like, legend on his shirt. So he's always paying homage. The All-Star game happened, and we all know the All-Star game, everybody's kind of getting loose, mm -hmm. and Kobe's his favorite player. So I'm like, yo, the, the war is named after you, after Kobe. The best way to, to honor him is to compete. And he was, at halftime, he saw it. And he was like, yo, all right, and that's when the MVP, like, happened. So it's dope that he cares that much about the game. He cares that much about the show for the kids. And speaking of which, right now, the, can you talk about the partnership you're doing that you announced at All-Star across the country? Because as much uh, like stardom as you've reached, you still give back to the communities around the country. No, absolutely. And uh, just doing a lot of things uh, with the Jason Tatum Foundation. We announced a partnership with SoFi uh, and basically it was to help start generational wealth and um, donating a million dollars to my foundation to help fa single family single parent families back home um, become first time homeowners because we know how vital that is to, um, you know, starting financial freedom. That's I, huge. Jamal is the biggest Michael Jordan fan I've ever met in my life. <laughs> I believe that you're one of the biggest Kobe fans that has probably ever existed. When we're talking about Kobe all time, what are the arguments mm. that you make for him as your goat? Ah, for me, it's the inspiration thing, the way he inspired people the way he inspired somebody that was 2,000 miles away that I had never met just watching him on TV watching his, his interviews watching how hard he worked um, the ups and downs of his career from 2,000 miles away me seeing myself in him right wanting to achieve my dream and chase my goal and work as hard as I did because he did those things and mm. how, how many kids and how many people he inspired throughout the world uh, and not to say the other, you know, the other best players didn't, but for me, you know, the inspiration factor uh, is the biggest reason why I'm here today. Yeah. Jay, I have a question for you. Um, you know, you gonna tell them the hospital in St. Louis? <laughs> here we go. Oh, We're gonna have people oh, googling. I am from St. Louis, okay? Oh, no, you're born from St. Louis. Louis. Oh, 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 <laughs> can I ask you a question? Uh -oh. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Uh, Google, cat. Google, Google sir. me, What's baby. Oh, yeah. What's uh -huh. That's AI. 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 Back in the old days, would you have tried Shaq coming down the lane? No. No. Oh, no, he's looking him. straight in your... Would you have tried <laughs> no, him? No, the answer you is no. You would have tried him? No. Well, hold on, Shaq. He, why he would said you yes. I'm asking you. Jason. Try I'm not asking you. He said, said no, he answered. I love his mom. I love his dad. I love, said, I love his little man, but he know I would have put him on the ground. He said he would try you. Though. I would have tried. That's what he no, said. he wouldn't have tried. I'm just... No, okay. only been dunked on twice in 20 years. There's a reason for that. Relax. Only I'll twice? You, I'll put you down. You <laughs> no, I'm trying. Don't do it. Don't, I'm don't, telling don't, don't you. Do it. Don't do it. Don't twice. Do it. Only twice? But you would have gone for it. I ain't scared, Shaq. Yeah. 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 Come on now. You gotta now. try. You gotta try. You have to. He feels catch obligated to try. Exactly. He said he catch you slipping. So, late in help side? Maybe when you play for the Heat. Yeah, the Heat. You would have got Heat, Shaq. Celtic Shaq. Celtic Shaq. Celtic Shaq. For sure. We could talk about Shaq. Did you know that you're sharing a set right now with one of the greatest Celtics to have ever lived, Shaquille O'Neal? Sure, we put Celtics. together some of the best <laughs> Shaq one highlights. Great he won great Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 like oh. oh. Big Shamrock. Oh. Big Shamrock. <laughs> yeah, that's, you see it? Give me that. Right. Oh. Okay, I didn't see that one, Shaq. I didn't see that one. I didn't see that one. Get that out of here, little boy. Get that stuff out of here. Uh, oh, oh, wait, what happened? What happened you fell real hard on that one. Oh, Boom. Pass Shaq, up. you still dunking? Dang, you hey, had some baggy stuff. Jason, you still want to test them? You still want to go after them? Nice real pass, baggy, Rondo. Shaq. <laughs> he said he's Shaq. He said he's Shaq. No, but I, I want to thank Jason. Thank you for stopping by. We really appreciate it. Okay. Good luck the rest of the year. You. You've been yeah. un unbelievable so far. And we are getting ready for Crossed Up, but uh -oh. we need to show some of Jason uh -oh. Tatum's uh -oh. best oh, Crossed Up. Mmm.
Oh, oh not Brooke. Brooke. You're in trouble, bro. Oh, 360. Turned all the way around. Oh, that's a cross. That's he said that'd be you, Shaq. He gave you the point. Ooh. He said that'd be you. I might not have dunked on you, but that'd be I'm going to come out on the pick and roll. You're going to get dotted then if you don't come out on the pick and roll.